Chang. If we can deliver to Major League Baseball its first Indian ball player, that's a billion new fans. What do a billion new fans need? A billion hats, a billion t-shirts. And you want to set this up like it's a talent contest. Exactly. That will ensure maximum exposure of talent to press. See, once we go over there and find these guys, we bring them back here, we train them in L.A., then we get them signed with a professional franchise. What's your timeline? Two years. Can you do it in one? Sure. Okay. First, I have to know, you know, who... It's a baseball movie. Yes. Who's your favorite team? Oh, I can't baseball? imagine. It might just be written all over your shirt. St. Louis okay. Cardinals, y'all. I had to. I had to. Um, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's you're from St. Louis. You have a baseball bracelet on. It's, uh, we, it's what we do. And we do it real well. Uh, uh, we're having a little shaky start this year, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll write the there. ship. We're gonna be okay. Yeah. So tell me what drew you to this movie because it's so inspirational, it's so wonderful. But what was it specifically for you? Um, honestly, I read the script and I and I had not heard of of the story of the million dollar arm contest or the story or or Rinku and Dinesh. I, it's mm -hmm. for whatever reason it it, it went under my radar. radar. Yeah. And I immediately started looking up online like all of this stuff about it and I was like I, I can't believe this is actually true. This is if this is actually true this is amazing. And it was. And it's uh, and I and it is amazing. I mean, you, you know, it's um you kind of forget because it's a movie and you're watching a movie and then right. all of a sudden you realize at the end you're like Guys really did Some, that, yeah. And and um, and they're such good guys. And I got a chance to meet both of them. And you probably got a chance to see Rinku as well. Mm -hmm. um, and JB is such a hard worker and such a diligent, you know, determined guy. Mm -hmm. And and he kind of willed this thing into existence. So it was it was an exciting opportunity to get to play, you know, someone who's a little, you know, at 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 the core a little bit better than. Than most, and right. you know, because I play a guy, the most part, who's not so much. Uh, so it's <laughs> it's that part was was why I wanted to do it, and and you know, obviously baseball being close to my heart was right. was secondary, but mostly it was that this, I found the story incredibly inspiring. Mm -hmm. I was gonna ask, you know, is it different to play? It's based on a true story. Is it different to play someone who you can go and meet and hang out with? And yeah. Oh, no very pressure, different. Yeah, you know? yeah. No pressure. No, it's very different, mm -hmm. and it's. Um, it's 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 great. JB was around in India. He was around in Atlanta where we shot the majority of the film, and um, because it's you know you can see how the guy operates and you can see how the guy thinks and, you, and talks and works and listens and and uh, and you know it's it's uh, it's he, it's nice to be able to, to say like God, what happened when you know were you just devastated when all this stuff like happened? He's like oh yeah, I was like suicidal, like it was miserable. Right. But you also know that, like, that this experience, and he'll say it himself, like, this experience has changed his life mm -hmm. for the better, profoundly. And, and he, he, he did not think that going in. You right. know, that was not what he set out to do. He set out to make some money. To, to just money. And, right. and he, it turned out that he, he it changed his life, mm -hmm. which is I, a nice message, which honestly. Which is great. I think that's why it's such an amazing film. It's because of, you know, JB's character arc and then the boys, and it's just so... Inspirational on, on so, so many levels. Yeah. Um, tell me about shooting in India. Was that crazy? Crazy. Um, I'd never been to Asia, much less India, and it was my first time on the continent, so to speak, and it was, you know, you fly into Mumbai, and it's like, okay. wham, now it is full aware. on, full tilt boogie for, you know, as soon as you get off the airplane until you get to the hotel, it is like crazy. And I had no, uh, I had no, kind of perspective to put it in. I had no idea. I'd never, I had nothing to measure it against. That makes it kind of fun. It, totally. <laughs> and because of that, it, it, took, it takes a little getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's like, it's fascinating because everything is different. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a, um, it's a wonderful country with like so many different sides to it and, and so many, um, you know, moving parts that you think there's no way this, how does this work? You know, there's, how does works. this work? And it does. Uh, and so I, I had a I had a wonderful time. I would definitely go back. Okay. So last question. Uh, JB kind of reminds me a little bit of, about another character that you play. Kind of good guy, bad guy, all mixed up. Mr. Draper. Do we have any uh, sneak peeks for the? Well, the show airs <laughs> Sunday uh, right? tomorrow night, mm -hmm. Sunday night, and uh, you know it's the beginning of the end as we've been coming to. T 
coming to call it. Um, but yeah, we we left uh, we left on in, in not the greatest place, but uh, with a glimmer of hope. So hopefully, uh, you know, his the, the last image of, of Don and Sally kind of sharing a a moment will uh, will resonate into our our final chapter. Okay, so we'll see. looking forward to it. Thank you. Lovely to meet nice you. Nice to meet you.